This is episode 70 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 20th, 2021, where Chris, Charlie, and Steve review four craft beers from four different breweries. One is a fruited sour, then an American IPA, followed by a double IPA, and we finish with a very tasty imperial pastry stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Right here. We got tech guy, Steve. Yep, I'm here. And we got uh, four magnificent beers, hey. or what should be. Yep. We're we're crossing our fingers. Yep. Yeah. So, Charlie, we're going to kind of run all... We definitely know two of them are going to be really good. Yeah, we're uh, going to kind of run all over, this, all over the place. We yep. got a, uh, a beer from Beer Zombie. To back to the random show. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah all over the place. <laughs> Mixing it up. Uh, McElhaney, uh out there in Alpine Society. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. uh, we're going to head up north to uh, try that moxa. Mm-hmm. Stout. So let's, uh, let's, let's hop right to it. Rip it into him. I got it. I'm on it. Listen. Oh, that wasn't very... Uh... So this first beer that Charlie's pouring... Is uh, Zombie Whip, uh, Blueberry, Coconut, Vanilla, and Fluff uh, by Beer Zombies Brewing Company. Uh, the the brewing component of, of Beer Zombies, uh, they're, in, they're in Las Vegas. Uh, it's brewed uh, up in San Marcos at uh, Mason Ale Works. Okay. Mm-hmm. Smells really fruity. It's got awesome can art. Yeah. The can art's delicious. Little zombie creature thing. Eight percent. Alcohol by volume, my friends. Ah, oh, yeah. Good zombie fluff here, dude. Steve. Yeah, it's all right. Steve's jumping in now. Mm. Smells good. Fruity. It's very fruity. So it pours like kind of a purplish color. Yeah, did nice you say and, what was in it? Nice and sweet. I did, yeah. Heavily fruited with blueberries, coconut, vanilla, and marshmallow fluff. Mm. So, Charlie, where did you pick this up at? I think I either got it at Valley Farms or uh, Bottle Prep. I think I got it at Valley Farms. So. That is sure. really, really good. Pretty sure. Got a lot going on in there, I think. And um, we had a little beer fairy show up and bring the Society and the McElhaney. So that was a delicious little uh, surprise that uh, Grayson mm-hmm. brought over. Mm-hmm. Dropped it on us. So he was up in Alpine, and uh, he grabbed this, and then he worked at Society, so... Yep. He had access to the uh, the other one. But this uh, zombie mm. is very delicious. 8%. That's, uh, sometimes you go over there. They have two places. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Three places now in uh, Vegas. I think I mentioned that before. But, yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, a lot of the beers they, they have on tap there are, you know, like really, really high in alcohol content. So they're 8 to 10 or whatever. And it's just... Uh, it's kind of unique, I guess, but uh, a lot of high gravity beers. Yeah, over there. yeah, they're they're knockers. So, so this I uh, I get a lot of a lot of blueberry, uh, a lot of vanilla, but I don't really taste that that coconut. Mm-mm. That might soften it up a little bit. That and the marshmallow. Mm-hmm. The can art's just funny because it got the zombie whip with all the fruits and stuff inside the mm-hmm. the little see the go yeah. Cup. Mm. Like it's a yogurt. You've been to the to that beer festival a couple times, right? The zombie. One of the best beer festivals in, I've ever been to. They're um, part of the Mason uh, release. They're they're part of that club. They're supposed to do a. Uh, um, I thought it was like a. It's the same guy that does this artwork. They're supposed to. There was supposed to be some piece of like I don't know if it's a T-shirt or a glass or whatever from this the same mm. guy, but. Well, they do glasses a lot. They have their zombie glasses oh, available, so, I mean, oh, so you can they, buy so all they guys, their stuff. Oh, so they're still making them. Yeah. They just haven't released the one that they're supposed to, that I've paid for. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Mason. I don't know about that. Yeah. You know what? That's a hit and miss opportunity. The only time I go up, they treat me like a king. <laughs> when Chris goes up there, they, you know, spank him and kick him out the door. Allegedly. My, re- my reputation must proceed. <laughs> well, we... What is it? We went up there and you said, hey, I'm supposed to get a free beer every time. And, and you, you said, I haven't got one yet. And I go, 
Hey, he says he's supposed to get free beer, and the guy goes, "Oh, I'll be right back. What do you want?" <laughs> free beer, <laughs> only time. Yeah, no, it's actually been a great. It's been good since then. They're just having. <laughs> since you brought your muscle to. This. Yeah, I took exactly. it. I took care exactly. of the biz, and that I'm telling you that that uh, Lucy Juicy or Juicy Lucy, what was it that we had there? I don't know what you had. Something from Tops, though. Yeah, right? that was lights out hazy, taps. man. What a hey, Tops, I think. I think it was Juicy Lou. Yeah, that's good. It was something else, but... What do you got next on our hit list, Charlie? I don't know, but I like that zombie. It's very tasty. Uh, we're going to go from here. We're going to go right to the McElhaney True Family Craft, Alpine, California. Hard work, good beer. Uh, they got Wizards Wand, West Coast IPA, 6.71%, it says. Uh, and this thing was just filled the other day, so... Here we go. Jump on. Oh, sorry, Steve. Did I splash you up? Nope. You're good. So, uh, McElhaney. Um, I'm going to pour a little extra the, here. Mm. The gents from uh, from Alpine Beer Company. Uh, McElhaney, uh, father and son. Good beer bankers. Certainly. Uh, Ooh, you know, that smells like a West Coast IPA, boys. Let me tell you. That ain't at, no party. At one that point. ain't no disco. Before... Um, uh, like before, untapped was like the. Wow. Uh, I'm just over here filling my glass. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, I um, taste a little hemp on the end. We have there. a quart, a quart, thirty-two ounces. Yeah, and you they, had to pour a little extra. Um, they had five beers in the top 100 on Rate Beer. Or, <laughs> like it was Rate. I think Rate Beer's top 100 and, or 150 beers. Right. Um, we're from you know that small brewery, tiny Alpine, little box. Alpine Beer Company. It was like pure hoppiness, Happy Birthday, Exponential uh, Expo, and. Uh, Nelson, of course, Nelson. Mm. Well, there used to be nobody up there, seriously, and we would go up there and Ooh. fill our crawlers <laughs> and and then that, uh, walk out of there just happy as can be. And then one day I show up and there's a flipping line down mm. around the corner. I'm like, "The heck's going on here?" Guy goes, "We're selling exponential happiness." He goes, "People go mad for this stuff." I'm looking around. I said. Man, I've been drinking it for four years. <laughs> Where you guys been? <laughs> it's uh, that's a that's a good beer. That's I wouldn't great, tell anybody. That's a really good West Coast IPA. Wow. And I'm going to take it from you because you are the West Coast expert. I uh, don't know what type mm. of hops they use in there. Mm. It just sits on your tongue. Probably yeah, one that's... of the best ones I've tasted in a long time. Wow. That's, that's right up there with hop food. Don't you think? It's a good beer. Yeah, it it's is. really, it's a great beer. But uh, I'd have to, I have to, have to have hop to the same. Getting time. that hemp taste. You'd at have the to end? put them both. Uh, you know, I have to put them in the ring next to one another. You know, mm, competition, throwdown. I like it. Drop the gloves. Blind taste test. Right? Yeah, yeah, blind taste test. Oh, that's so good though. Mm. That is a really, really good beer. Oh. Wizard's Wand, West Coast IPA, six point seven. Yeah. Six point seven one, it says. Yeah, seven. Uh, I think it, uh, that's a percent sign. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> They're getting really accurate. Dang. There. <laughs> <laughs> really it measure precise. our base to, to 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 the hundredth. I thought it was precise. Eleven twenty six. Their beers are just so clean. Wow. They're doing a great uh, job. Looks great in the glass. Pretty impressed with the new Alpine California McElhaney Brewing. Yeah. I would uh, I would say the same. And you know what? It's a it's a tough break because you know they make great beer, but you know I think people are lost in the uh, fold out of the original Alpine that is now owned by Green Flash. You know, to these guys, I think probably eighty to ninety percent of the people that drink their beer will go up there. And just make their own determination whether that's their beer or not. You know, somebody's going to stick with the stuff that they're making at Green Flash, I would imagine. Who? People if you who like that. Who likes that? I mean, if you had to, if you had to taste this next to that. I'm not saying me. Right. I don't, I don't think there'd be any, I mean, I, I'm sure like, you know, I'm sure people will still, uh, still purchase the Green Flash beer, but you taste like this beer next to, or, you know, like that, that old Alpine beer next to, you know, when they were. Uh, for a while, they were just making the three beers at um, at Green Flash. Yeah, uh, and there you could certainly taste the difference mm -hmm. between them. You know, they're. Uh, 
I don't think they, you know, I mean, I think, and I think the difference is like Green Flash, like these guys use the best quality uh, ingredients. And I don't think that, that Ale Smith did that when they, uh, or not Ale Smith, excuse me, um, uh, Green Flash. Did you know, that when they, when they over, started making I don't know. It just, like, the quality of the beer was just, mm. like, terrible. I never drank it after they, after yeah. they sold. sold so. I went up there a couple times to get, uh, to get some uh, poutine at, uh, at the pub. Yeah, mm. well. When they, uh, you're just a poutine guy. Yeah. yeah. The, I think it was really confusing for a lot of people because they were working there for a while, too. So, correct. Yeah. yeah for, for a little while, they were just, well, so when it first started, they started out contract brewing because they were, you know, they were just brewing at the mm-hmm. small little, the mm-hmm. same place they're brewing today. Yeah. Um, but they needed to make more Happy Birthday, Duet, and Nelson, I think, were the three. Or maybe it was Pure Happiness. So they just did three beers over there. And and they, uh, that was kind of the start of it. But in the end, it didn't, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see they're, they're where they're at today. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Making great beer. Big fan. They, they've got stuff up there that I've tasted other than this this is great uh that is perfectly done i mean i love those beers that i was drinking up there like i said i haven't had this i'm not a big west coast ipa but it's a really good one it's tasty huh? yeah they they did it right at least mm-hmm. Ooh, smells hoppy though <laughs> it's super it sure hoppy. does it's not that bitter though i was kind of shocked at no, that part really well done uh uh, what did you guys uh, have any beers this week? Because I know Chris has. It did actually. I had a uh, blueberry dose mm. from uh, uh, from Horace. Yeah. So the the uh, the dose series, the blueberry. Yeah. Uh, so it's blueberry, chocolate, coffee, hazelnut, vanilla bean. It was awesome. It a was lot of blueberries. Fantastic. Um, came through really, really yeah. good. And that's the one you gave me too, right? I or think so. It? Yeah. No, I, I gave the, you a I, dose. I, 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 I had the Zilla you, dose. I had the Zilla, Zilla dose. dose. That's yeah. right. It's the yeah. vanilla one. Yeah, that was our Thanksgiving beer. How was it? With Alex. It was good. Delicious. I mean, it was... It was a hit? Yeah. yeah. So Steve went in the other room and drank it by himself. <laughs> no, I kept sharing. I shared it with him the whole time because it was like we ate at three. You know, yeah. Like, there's oh, no boy. way I'm drinking a whole bunch of beer right now. That would have been a, yeah. that would have been a dose, all right. <laughs> right. You'd have been dozing yeah. off. <laughs> But you gave me that Creative Creature Mast- Masters something or another. Yeah. It's a... McMasters? Matt McMasters Masters or something like that. Something? Guy with the face on it? Mason Mc... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Masters yeah. Uh, something. It's, it Which was a, a pastry stout with chocolate blueberry and... Uh, 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 um, um, Asia, uh, I'm saying Acai? Acai? Yeah, Acai, yeah. It was, that was fabulous. I, re- I did awesome. drink that one by myself. <laughs> uh, With so, the Masters mix? That's my speed. I can't tell what the MX, the MI. Yeah, is Masters mix. mix. Yeah. 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 But that was that was really, really good. Well, I've tasted all, both the ones you've had, you guys are talking about, or all three of them, actually. And I had me a little PBR. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's only because... <laughs> I got to get rid of this stuff before Travis gets back. He's so, coming back soon, I hear. I know, but yeah. I'm going to get him some freshies. There you go. Maybe yeah. some long necks. The, um, the, yeah, that dose was really good. Mm. That's good. It was fantastic. Yeah. All the doses have been good, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. The horses have just been fabulous. And, and I, I think, you know, like, like um, my cousin in law says, you can't drink another. You can't drink a stout anymore without yeah, realizing yeah, that it kind of ruins yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the stouts you can go buy in general are not those types. I'm gonna have to agree with him. Yeah, I'm just not yeah, no, but he has, He now. did. You know, the the one <laughs> nice thing about that is like Speedway Stout is now much more available. Right, and that they do have some, um, you know, flavored versions of that. So. Yep. No, absolutely. Speaking of that, Ale Smith, their uh, Order of the Anvil, which is their beer club, is open right now. Mm. That's a really cool brewery. Have you ever been there to mm-hmm. Alesmith? They have a, uh, um, you know, they, they it's a huge brewery. It's huge. It's on Alesmith Way, right off of Miramar. And yeah, then they I wonder how they got that name. <laughs> then they uh, it has upstairs, downstairs, cheese shop downstairs. I think I went there when they were first, like next to the surf shop when it was smaller. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So now that's uh, that's McKellar. Oh, okay. Uh, that's McKellar um, off a of Nobel. Uh huh. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they're just a couple a uh, couple of streets away. Oh, okay. On, um, but yeah, so they they uh, they also have like a little um, what do they call it? Like a little speakeasy in there. A mm. uh, little uh, where you, you can go b- behind the secret, secret door. Knock. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, you can go in there and it's like a you get uh, secret you knock. Can roll in there and drink the you know a bunch of different stouts or whatever they have on tap. But a huh. little uh, is that they call yeah. a speakeasy? I think. Well, that's more the. The hidden alcohol room. Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, the, exactly. From the days of Prohibition. Yep. Just a barrel room. Huh? Have you been in there? No. You, I didn't know the knock. Exactly. You probably couldn't see it. Secret knock you got to have. <laughs> it's a... Uh, well, they had a, for a while, they had Tony Gwynn Tony Green Little Museum in there. Mm. I, I do remember that. Yeah. When I went to that place. That was pretty cool. So that's never, where Conrad got his first surfboard. It was right there. Yeah, and I went in there, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, Dad, look at all this Tony Gwynn stuff." Yeah, yeah. They were collecting Tony Gwynn stuff for a while. Before. For sure. <laughs> yeah, it's called the uh, the Anvil. Well, it's actually called the Anvil and Stave. Uh, it's the Speakeasy, but it's yeah, it's the barrel aged Speakeasy where you can go in and get mm-hmm. uh, you know, some of their rare their mm-hmm. their Anvil and Stave beers. But you know, to be honest with you, never liked any of those. Mm-hmm. Well, go go try some of that uh that uh. Uh, Speedway Stout, um, Hawaii, like the Hawaiian Speedway Stout, or Never some of those it. are pretty good. I wouldn't imagine they were, but they're, yeah. I mean, they're, I kind of got a little jaded with some of the stuff that they were putting out. Like, I went and hit, had that fryer. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. I didn't, I mm. haven't had it. The swinging fryer. Yeah. Ooh. I went up there bad. one time for a buddy of mine's 40th birthday and bought like a case of beers. And I, you know, I was just like, hey, just, Drink too. Well, I was like, hey, just grab whatever. And it was like decadence. It was all this like really crazy stuff that like maybe I would enjoy now. But at that time, like I drank West Coast IPAs. Like, yeah. That was it. You know, and <laughs> I have like a bunch of like Belgian quads and whatnot. Wait, I'm like, what nothing's I changed. <laughs> right. so, this is a great beer. It is. Um, mm-hmm. Delish. Pretty impressed actually with that uh, McElhaney brew. I mean, it. I like what they do. Yeah, you can't can't complain. It's just too too delicious. Even at you know. Okay, I I snuck a smell on this. I haven't had this. This is from Society. This is a hop tooth, and uh, it was explained to me that is uh, like uh, si- uh, the pupil's big brother or big sister. <laughs> okay, whichever you prefer. Ooh, um, that smells great. So hop forward West Coast double IPA with uh, bold aromas and flavors is what they say. It is super light like the pupil is. Yeah. But it's it's got some octane. It's 8.5, dude. Yeah. So it's it's nothing to toy with, let me tell you. It smells much lighter than the than the uh McElhaney. And that was six seven. Six seven point one, right? Yep. <laughs> or percentage, whichever you like to say. Yeah. Mm. We can, round, we can round down. Yeah, it smells awesome. Mm. I haven't had this, so I'm going to go for the first run. Wow. Is that a little crocodile they got on there? I don't know. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. That's pretty... Uh, it's pretty good. I think I might like it better than the people. Maybe not, though. Mm. Got ourselves a crocodile here. <laughs> crocodile? The wow. difference between a crocodile and an alligator. We need somebody from Florida to help us out. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what is the. Uh, it's got a little, uh, got a little bitterness at the end there. Yeah, it's it's like a West Coast double IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Shocker! Shocker! It's bitter at the end. Not bad. I think I, definitely. We've had. I don't know if I like it more than I like uh, yeah. the pupil. Mm. Now, now I'm taking another drink or two. I got to take a little drink of this water to clean up the palate. Slightly. Prepare yourself. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I, like the, I like the smell. That's a mild smell for a double IPA, if you yeah. ask me. Mm. You can't complain. I mean, it's it's uh, an IPA. I think I, I think I like the pupil a little better. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really resinous, like really. Yeah, it's not as. Uh, not as uh, palatey. Yeah. 
as the as the pupil would be. It's much milder. I mean, that's probably the booze and you know, it's really hop. It's got some sweetness on the back end of it, though. I expected more like kind of hoppy. I think um, I'm not tasting sweetness. I don't know if it's really. It's very mu- much more mild than the 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 other west certainly the is. west coast we had. Like at the end, like it's not sitting under my tongue. Yeah. Now, I could drink about twelve ounces of that, and I'd be good. Yeah, sixteen would be a mm-hmm. little much for me. Yeah, I'd take the other four ounces. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, that's what we'll do from now on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or you just pour four ounces off the top, <laughs> and then open your own can. <laughs> then you'll be at twenty, and you're good to go. That's Ooh. a pint. That's a pint, right? And so we're, when we get to the hazies, so a hazy double. Is sometimes called an imperial, or, no, or a, I've never heard of hazy double call. Or uh, I a think New England IPA. Right. Yep. New England. Right. Yep. Um, or murky. Just, mm-hmm. Everybody's got their own little, little, little twitch, thing, yeah. you know, they, or itch that they like. To Some scratch. people don't like to put it in the box. Yeah. So New England IPAs are a style of IPA invented in Vermont in the early two thousands. Like when you're looking at some of those um, out there, Heady Topper and and. Uh, mm. Um, they're Tree characterized house. by juicy citrus, floral flavors, more subtle, less piney hop taste than mm-hmm. typical IPAs. Smoother consistency or mouthfeel and yeah. a hazy appearance. They just sort of soften it up a little bit. Because we've been drinking a lot of double hazy IPAs. Well, that's because I, I of, like them. Yeah, be, but <laughs> the thing is, like, when you told me that that's what we were having, I'm sort of getting in the confusion state. because I said a double hazy? No, I'm starting to think of, like, when I hear double and IPA... That it should They're be not more the always a hazy, right? Well, if it's a double hazy, it's just more alcohol, but it's still right. a, a softer feel. It yep. just takes all the bitterness mm-hmm. right off the top. Yep. And then it's uh, it's just, like it said, mouthfeel. Mouthfeel, it just goes in there and it just runs around on your mm-hmm. tongue. And just, you know, kind of touches each little taste bud as it's going down. Pretty you, uh, do you remember Brute IPAs? Groot? Brute? Brute? Brute. Like B- BRU. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. are just yeah. around for like a, a short period. I don't know if anybody's making any of them right now, but. Like, is like a dry IP. Did you like dry? that? Yeah. No, I did not. Oh, you uh, didn't? No, I didn't so care like for it. Champagne? Or yeah, I think they were using like the champagne. Um, mm. Let's see. It's kind of like that sour IPA. It's not really not going to ever. Not my style. <laughs> yeah. No. What about a fruited IPA? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of a big fan of fruited IPAs. What are some examples? Have you had it? We did that uh, um, that passion fruit IPA from Burgeon. Mm. Uh, oh, that's the right. Prowler that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, what was it that uh, sounds like we got the local yeah. law enforcement out yeah, tonight going on. making things happen? Uh, but uh, I was uh, I was thinking that um, about uh, is it. Burning or no, it's a uh, belching beaver mm. has that fall of Troy. Uh huh. That's a fruited IPA, isn't it? Or is it a fruited know. hazy IPA? Because it's delicious. And you know what? They just made a whole new batch of it, I guess. And uh, I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, that was actually originally made as a uh, um, as a mistake. Yeah, that mm-hmm. beer was. It's the it's a double the, milk the shake, fail of Troy. That. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, orange vanilla milkshake Ooh, double IPA. And it is fantastic. Yeah. So I think, uh, <clears throat> man, I'm going in the battle of the IPAs there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going McElhaney with that. Uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to agree with you. Finally. So, so, not to go too off track, but um, I spent some time with Josh over the weekend because oh, there, no. there was a conference. Sorry to hear, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it, was, Josh it was actually and great. You. But, <laughs> he said that there's a whole bunch of breweries doing birds are real related beers. Birds aren't real. Are are real. Aren't. Are, are not. Are. Birds are real. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so these guys are saying birds are real. Yeah, yeah. So people breweries are doing beer, birds are real based on the this the birds are aren't, 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 aren't real, right, right. So yeah. I had that at, um, from Green Cheek. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. So it was just, it, it was really funny because I had not heard that story. And then I went down the rabbit hole of the birds aren't real. Right. So just, if you if you have some time yeah. and you don't want to. 
you want to waste it on something. <laughs> yeah. You just look that you, up. You look that the up. The birds aren't real. Yeah, yeah, birds oh, it's so up. great. Yeah, yeah like, it's, it's it's it's. So I follow them on on Instagram. Uh, we'll we'll include the link mm-hmm. to these. But it's a kid. I mean, the do you hey, did you look at the I looked at the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, this kid's been traveling around the country. Like he just had a he just had a. Uh, did you look at like uh, when he he was at Twitter? And yeah. He was, he, He's at Twitter. And then his van got broken into and all of their equipment got stolen. You know, he's like, it was a hit job, right? Like, this Twitter, he's, he's like, Twitter, like, you should be changing. It shouldn't be a bird. Right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, bird. all birds are, are yeah. um, surveillance so devices. He's from the government. Yep. Yeah, I know they're not. You know how I know? Well, how's that? Kids were having a birthday a long time ago. And we had a bird feeder. And this bird must have been really hungry because he... Stuck his beak in there and then got it wedged up underneath there. And I'm serious. He was like stuck. He yeah. couldn't get out. I'm mm-hmm. like, did you cut him open and make sure he wasn't? No, he was but real? I squeezed him. Yeah. <laughs> See, no. no, the government's really good. Though, yeah, yeah. Making, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. Birds that need bird food. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Bird, bird food for fuel. Yeah. Well, yeah. then there was a time I was out in the front yard mowing the lawn and a falcon a little peregrine falcon hit the electric wire and sheared off its wing and it just boom wow. onto the ground it was all bloody and everything wow. i put it out of its misery because it was so bad that's that. that's working out better for our birds are real yes the blood and stuff yeah it's it was everywhere yeah I'm, yeah, yeah. Well, Anyways, I'm a fan of that. I, it's great. No, it's I, I. I follow them. Birds aren't real. I, I'm with them on that. They're surveillance <laughs> devices. Yeah. Are they surveillance or surveillance? Surve- that too. Yeah. All right, Charlie. What are you hitting us with? Okay, I think I think you guys are going to be happy with this. This is joyous almonds. It's an imperial stout with almonds. Oh. <laughs> Figure that. Vanilla beans and coconut. And I'm telling you. The bottle cap spells good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you smell this. This is, you want to get this on a uh, little oh, video yeah. here, yeah, Haas? Yeah, We're, yeah. This, this is a amazing the video's just a sec, just beverage. It is, let me take a hit out of it right out of the bottle. The double IPA got me off track. Too. So they talk about this, uh, this full blown pastry stout is treated with 11.3 pounds per barrel of toasted almonds, 0.64 pounds per barrel of Ugandan vanilla, and 1.2 pounds. Uh, per gallon of coconut. No other beer we have made uh, has been this treated has been treated so heavily with post fermentation adjuncts. It's got floaties. Mm. I like it. Yeah. Oh, that is a perfect temperature, Chris. Yeah, it's coming. Uh, it's, it's tasting all right. Yep. You, you warm that up on the way over here. I did. I I, uh, I drove the uh, the scooter over here. Ooh, top speed. Back on the scooter. Back on the scooter. I drove Suzanne's scooter. My my scooter needs uh, a little bit of repair. Conrad's still in the. Is he interested? I was actually thinking about that today. I should uh, reach out to him. I gotta I gotta order. Uh, I gotta bring it in for a repair. But then I think I might get rid of it. How much you want for it? <laughs> Is you gonna get war? into a bidding, bidding war bidding with war. Uh, no, Conrad? I, I can't bid against him. He can outbid me easily. What do you think of that? What do you think of them almonds? <laughs> so it certainly smells really nutty. Yeah. yeah. Like when I uh, just just give it a sniff, that's that's what I'm getting is a lot of. Uh, mm. I smell a little barrel. Mm. Yeah, yeah. These guys. It's a good thing they didn't do almond joyous because then they get sued. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this isn't even barrel aged. It's not. Nope. It had to be stored. But it's gluten. In some. Yeah, it was stored in bright tanks. Oh, really? Wow. Before they. They'll probably they, they'll probably have a. Uh, well, that's pretty bright. <laughs> <laughs> smells really bright. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing. So, so what's up, bright? Uh, or just, Derek, you know, just Derek, yeah, this is right one of right. Derek's best works right here. One of them. I mean, he, that's a good beer. Yeah, that is a real. I have one of those somewhere. That might be it. Mm. No, I'm sure it's not. Wow, that's a uh, yeah. You certainly get a lot of a lot of toasted almonds mm-hmm. on there. Um, get like some. We're at twelve point two. Mm. Vanilla certainly comes through there. Well, that I catch a whole lot of coconut on there. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I, pretty, I uh, was a fan before I was a fan. Yeah. This it, was. Uh, it's good. I mean, that's all yeah. there is to it. It's fantastic. The almonds just are 
right up front. The vanilla's on the back mm -hmm. end, I think. I taste some chocolate or something. They don't taste certain chocolate. Places. I know they're not. They're but just, it's yeah, I get the I get the taste too. But. I think all of them together make yeah. it. Chocolate is really almonds. Almonds and vanilla. And coconut. In Always case you guys are all chocolate. wondering. Yeah, yeah coconut. Gonna, chocolate's not real. That's what I'm smelling is coconut and almonds. Especially the coconut. But mm, mm. Mm. that's pretty tasty. I like it a lot. Gosh, that's good. Mm. Whew. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a good, I don't know, there's not really much more you can say other than it's fantastic, <laughs> yeah. and it tastes amazing. No, you definitely, I mean, it smells really, really nutty. Um, you get your temperature gauge, Charlie? I'm get, I do, but, oh, let me grab it. Hold mm. on, there it is. You're all right. No, that's really, really good. I don't know that, um, the temperature's going to be the, uh. 57.8. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a uh, that's a good beer. That's a good temperature, too. Like I said, I thought it was perfect. Some people would argue that point, but mm. I mean, I think the yeah, see the let me see what it is down here. Yeah. 57.8 in the bottom of the bottle. 70 at the top. It's tasty. It's really good. Should we sit here and just snuggle mm. with this? Yeah. Well, so what we should do? Fire? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I really like it. You know, I don't get a whole lot of. I, I, I certainly get a whole lot of almonds. I get a lot of. Uh, I get a lot of vanilla. I, I don't know that the coconut comes through as much as I'd like, but that's a great. great I smell beer. it. I just don't taste it. But I think it, the vanilla and the almonds, kind of. That kind of flattens out that coconut. I think. That's a that's a phenomenal beer. I'd love to. Mm. Love to taste that barrel aged. So that one's hard to get. The mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it was um, it was a brewery only release. Mm -hmm. They don't release a whole lot of their stouts outside mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. um, the brewery. Right. But, but if it, you're in, in San Diego, Mc, McKellar, you, Mc, McKellar, uh, no, Moxa. So so uh, inside in San Diego, you can get the Society. Yep. Right. The other beer. Macalani you can get. Macalani. Zombie sure. you can probably buy at either, I think it's it's uh, Valley Farms or Bottlecraft right. or the other. Or or from, if you're in Las Vegas. I'm yeah, sure. You can just drop in. Yeah, or they, they do a lot of, like, a lot of releases through Southern California. Mm -hmm. Beer Zombie does. They, yeah. uh, they have a great distribution. Mm -hmm. And they started out as a brewery or as a? A bottle shop. shop. A that's pop up yeah, bottle shop. Yeah. That's what I thought. Right? He was like just a, yeah, it started he up as. He just loved like, beer and was just yes. doing beer. The, yeah, beer events. And the, his wife is like a, she's in like the wine industry. Um, well, his name is Chris. And um, it's, <laughs> it's funny because at that uh, festival we were at in Vegas, Mike and I, I mean, it was, there was a lot of, you know, regular beer there. I mean, just not even craft beer stuff, you know. And his line was ridiculous. And we got in early, so we got to go right up there and get his, and they were both outstanding. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went to get back in line, and it's like, you know, 70, 80, 90, 100 people long. And I walked up to him, and I said, hey, Chris, when are you having your next beer zombie festival and he goes why what do you ask and i'm like look at your line dude <laughs> this is what people want <laughs> you know they don't want all the rest of this beer that's here they want your beer and then the beers mm -hmm, that you yeah. bring in mm -hmm. and he brings in i mean jolly pumpkin jester king uh the answer um just just you know the other half equilibrium uh just bangers all the way through I mean, it's just ridiculous, and it's it's probably one of the best beer. Fe it is the best beer festival I've been to because of the fact that the beer that's there that you can taste, and then they have if you buy VIP, you get fed, mm. and you get to go into the certain little area that they have where you can go in there and drink only VIP beers, which is really good. So anytime you buy a beer festival ticket, you want to go VIP because yeah. you either you get in early and you get better yep i've heard the same thing availability other folks. So. um guys so three different beers <clears throat> we did the uh well or four different beers beer zombie charlie 
uh, the the two IPAs, and finally the uh, the Moxa Stout. What was your favorite? Um, I'm gonna say the Stout because I love that going, Stout. You're going the Joyous Almonds. Yeah, I like it. Steve, what are you? Uh, uh, Wizard Wand. For sure. That's me and Steve are yeah. in mock step here. <laughs> I, I mean, I amateurs. <laughs> I the uh, it's so good. Well, here's the deal. Out of the two, I think I like the Macalini better. Mm. If you were going to put those two at a... Yeah. yeah. Well, head so head. at least... So with that statement, I know that your palate's not broken. Yeah. No. I mean... I mean that was a great beer. And society... Phenomenal. I mean, we had their hazy last a uh, couple of weeks ago or three or four weeks ago, whatever. And it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm a hazy guy. You all know that. And, yep. Um, that would be my pick. Uh if I go there and I go to drink beer, I'm going to drink that hazy. I think it was their hazy is phenomenal. Right. This yeah. is a little over the top for me. I think I would be more along the pupil side. But sure. I obviously I know you guys are you like it better than you probably would the pupil, I guess. But uh, I'm a huge fan of yeah. No, it was good. Uh, I would I would go uh, the joyous almonds was good. Um, that wizards the one though is just spot on that that's the style of beer i want you know something that's uh just a, he's got you yeah, yeah. no that that's that west coast <laughs> no a it's a good fan. beer I, I i think they're all good oh yeah th th we didn't have a bad beer this time. no they're, no, they're all bad. they're all well we didn't have to drain group. pour any of these yeah. Next week, though. Yeah, could be yeah. different. Yeah, different story. I'm gonna try. I'll yeah. do. I'll see what I can do, yeah. gents. Hey. Easy on my glass. This is real thin. This one's. Yeah. This one's going through it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve, signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.